Happy Monday, everybody. All right, I am going to jump in and anyone hopping on late can just watch the replay. So for anybody watching who doesn't know me, my name is Gloria McLean and I got started with Young Living. Oh my gosh, it's almost been four years now, which still blows my mind. This has been the most fun journey. It has just gone by so fast. I feel like when you're having fun, right? Things just fly. Um, and sometimes people hear about my story, like we grew to gold in a year and then we hit platinum 10 months after that. And they can be like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Like, how did she do it? But something that they don't know is that I did network marketing before Young Living and I actually got pretty far in that company. And so I have been doing this personal development vision casting thing, you guys, for like eight years, like maybe eight years. Like I had dream dreamt of doing calls like this. I had dreamt of like helping empower women and raising up leaders like before Young Living ever came. So like, I mean, I just think the reason why my journey went so fast and like, I could tell you guys the how all day, but I really believe it's because I had a vision. I had a vision and I believed in myself. I believed I could do it. And I really think that that's where a lot of people get stuck. They know how to do it. They're doing the hows, but they're not getting the results that they want. And I have definitely noticed in my business, when I hit a goal, if I don't set that next vision for myself, I kind of hit this place where I'm just kind of doing this, like, and there's not a lot of growth happening. So when you hit your vision after you write your vision and you're going to hit your visions, right guys? Yay. Yes, you are. So when you hit it, like keep coming back to the drawing board because we are never done. We're never done. I mean, that's kind of what makes life fun is that we have these things that we're working towards. And, and that's kind of, for me, what keeps this journey so fun is the growth. So I am so excited to share these slides with you tonight. I have had company for three weeks and I have been like staying up and working on them. So there might be like spelling mistakes and they might not be as pretty as I want them to be yet, but you know what? Like who's perfect? Nobody, right? So let's just do it as it is because the information is what matters. And I just want growth for all of you. I want success for all of you, whether you're on my team or you're not on my team. Like, I just want to see people rise up. Like that is what gets my fire going. And that is like Young Living is the vehicle for me that allows me to do that. So that's kind of a little intro into my vision and to who I am, but we're gonna get started. I'm gonna share screen. Again, I am not perfect. I'm not tech savvy, so I'm sorry if anything messes up. We're just gonna go with the flow. We're all learning together. It's gonna be a fun time. Okay, here we go. It's totally gonna work so great. Except for, I can't see everybody. Okay, there we go. Hi, okay, can you guys all see that okay? Can I get some thumbs up? Good, good, okay. So we are gonna do vision casting and system setting. I hope you guys have like a notebook and a pen. And if you don't, like go run and grab it right now and we'll give you a minute. <laughs> Yay, I see notebooks, I love this. Okay, so we are gonna get a little deep tonight. And so just like open mind, open heart. Um, one thing, I really want you to make your vision not based on where you are right now, not based on the skills you have right now, not based on who you are right now. I want it to be so big that you have to grow into it. So that is like what I want for you guys, okay? So don't worry about like how, just focus on that vision ahead. Okay, here we go. So first things first, let me just, I have to fix my little screen here on my side. Oh, it's not gonna let me. Okay, the first thing you need to know is the only way your world will change is if you change first, okay? You need to be willing to admit that your life is your responsibility, okay? Your growth is your responsibility, your success is your responsibility. So something that I have found in my coaching for these last couple of years is that a lot of people are like, my upline's not doing this for me. And if only this like builder underneath me would do that, like if only other people would do this, then I would be successful. Then I could be the person I wanna be. It's other people, it's not me, it's the other people that aren't doing it. It's like, I love you all, but like, 
if that person isn't doing what you want them to do, like love them and leave them where they're at and when they're ready to come back, but like you need to find someone new then, or you need to like, it's up to you. Your growth is up to you. Um, your life is up to you. So when you can understand that and you can accept responsibility, like it's, it can sound scary at first. I get that. But also think about this. That means that it's up to you. Like that means you get, you have the power to create a vision for your life. You have the power to make new choices. If your old choices and the people that you're hanging out with and the things that you're doing aren't leading you to the life you want, you have the power to change that. You do. So that's like that, I hope empowers you and doesn't scare you. I hope it gives you that feeling of like, I can create a better future for myself than where I'm at right now. I have the power to do so. So I hope that that feels that way for you. So why set a vision? So when do you build a house? Do you do it? You do it after the blueprints are drawn up. You don't just start building a house. First, you need to draw up the blueprints. How crazy would it be to just start building a house if at first you didn't understand exactly what that house was going to look like? You've picked flooring, you've picked counters, you, you know exactly what it's going to look like before you start building it. Um, and the same with when you build a puzzle, you look at the final picture before you start to piece the puzzle pieces together. Because otherwise, like, it's going to take way longer. It's going to be way more frustrating. And yeah, you just need to keep looking back. Like, if you're going on a trip, you're going to look at the map. You're going to look at what it's going to take to get there. You need to have a vision for where you're going. It is so, so important. It keeps us on a clear path. It keeps us excited and motivated. And it pulls us out of bed with excitement in the morning. And when you encounter difficulties, and you will, I promise you, you will. I want, okay, for you all need to know right now, is there going to be hard times? Yeah. Is everything worthwhile hard? Yeah. I'm sorry. It, it just is like, but that's what, that's why not everybody has it. So like, are you going to be the person that's willing to like keep going when it gets hard? And when, if you have a vision, if you have like that thing that like, you now have that vision so clear that you can't live without it. You've seen it for your life. You want it so bad that it's okay that someone rejected you. It's okay that you lost a builder. It's okay. Like it's all okay Yay. because you know where you're going. So that's why you need to set a vision. And I am going to get a little red pants with you guys tonight. It's like, it's going to like, there's going to be a few of these, but like, know that I love you. We're going to end it on a happy note and we're all going to be hugging. It's going to be great. <laughs> so yes, it's going to get hard. I'm going to just put it out there. I've had a lot of hard things through this business, but I tell you the hardest day in young living is still better than my best day waitressing. Okay. <laughs> so just remember that when you're going through a hard time. Um, all leaders have vision. You need a true North. So where is your compass pointing right now? Where is that pointing? You need commitment to constant, never ending growth. I am a different leader and a different mother and a different friend when I do personal development every single day versus when I let it slide and I do it once a week. I am a different leader. I am not as inspiring. I am not as motivated if I don't do that. So constant never ending growth is something that like, I don't think it's driven into our hearts quite enough as it should be, but like every day, you guys, every day, every day, every day, every day. <laughs> Um, leaders know that they influence people and you know what, not only leaders, no matter what, whether you know it or not, you influence people. So that can be sometimes in bad ways and that can sometimes be in good ways. But when we understand and we're clear on that, we can use it for the power for good, right? So when we level up, when we rise up, we bring people with us, right? Everyone rises up with us. Um, and then there's that saying like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. No, you can't force it to drink, but you can show it how. You can get down and show it like how to drink the water and then it will naturally maybe want to follow you. So there's that. When you know where you're going and you're clear, people will not only follow you, but naturally know that they can create their future as well. When you have a vision that's really exciting and you're showing up excited for your people every day, they're going to feel that and they're going to then want that feeling as well. They're going to want that vision for themselves because they see it in you. They see it how you're showing up. 
So how do we set a clear vision? Here we go. So the very first place that I start when I'm sitting down with my vision is joy. So what brings my soul real joy? If I'm not headed towards joy, then what am I even doing? That's how I feel. That's my personal like feeling is like, if it's not making me happy and it's not filling my cup, then why am I trying to strive for that? So for me, things that bring me joy, this doesn't need to be what brings you joy. I'm using examples of my own. Please like take a picture of this or write it down and add your own things in there and really sit and think about it. This isn't something that you're just maybe going to write out really quickly. This might be something that you need to sit and like meditate on or sit and journal about like, and not what other people think should bring you joy or what other people think is success, but like for you. So for me, like my family, my faith, dancing, community, food, wine, exploring, like deep conversations, being impactful to others, singing, being in nature, painting, learning, peace, love. Like I love boating. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I love exploring new places. So these are things that bring me joy. So these are obviously things that I'm going to want to put like on my vision because they bring me the most joy. So I want to have time to do these things, right? Um, I think it's a super fun activity to sit and just think about all the things that make you smile. Like, it's just really fun to do. And as I was writing this out, you guys, I was like smiling like an idiot. <laughs> I was just like sitting there like smiling so big. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm not even doing these things. I'm literally just thinking about them. And I'm sitting here like, so happy <laughs> like just thinking about the things that bring me joy so do this and revisit it and it's okay if it changes like just whatever just keep it so that it feels really good to you when you read it so a question that you can write down right now is just what brings me joy true joy okay now the second thing that we need to go over is belief if you didn't believe that you could drive to California, if you thought like, there's no way I could do that with like, let's say for me, there's no way I could do that with three kids. Like there's just no way I could ever do that. Am I going to plan the journey and start the journey and commit to that journey if I don't think I can? No, you're just not. Like there is just no way that you're going to do that. So you must believe that you can make the trip. You believe that you can get there. Yeah, you have kids, but you're gonna figure it out and it might be hard and like they might get bored, but like these are the things I'm gonna do to keep them entertained. You're gonna plan it and you're gonna start to really visualize and then you're gonna take the trip. So you have to believe that you can make this trip. You have to believe it, you have to. If you don't, then like, what are we doing, right? You have to, and I know you can because there's so many people out there that have done it so if they can, you can, and I can. That's the way that I think. Like if other people can, then I can too. So like repeat after me, no one can hear you. So like say it as loud as you want. Like I am worthy, I am worthy. Say it, I wanna see it. Yes, yes, it feels good even just to say, right? Like you're freaking worthy of making this trip, you guys. If others can do it, so can I. Say it with me. If others can do it, so can I. Okay, yes, yes. I am an RCD. Say it. Oh, a little people more, a little more scared of that one. <laughs> yes, yes. Your belief holds your power. You can think about it all day long. You can take actions all day long. If you don't in your gut believe in yourself and believe you can do this, you guys are not going to have the results that you want. So this is where the personal development every day comes in real handy okay like real handy um i always think of like the wizard of oz like you've had the power all along my dear it's already in you it's not somewhere out there that's like unattainable it's already in you you just have to believe so when you believe it's inevitable the work becomes worth it right like you're just excited because every day you're taking a step closer to that journey right um i mean to that destination so you need to believe. And that is something that I have told myself since I decided I was all in is it's inevitable. It's inevitable that I'm going to be an RCD. And I truly believe that it's inevitable. I've never worried about like, I'm in a small town. I don't have a lot of friends around here. Like I just never thought of that because I just believed it's inevitable. So I just want you to have that same belief. And if you have to like 
Tell yourself that every day. At first, it might feel like a lie. That's okay. It might, but that's just keep saying it because your mind is like a muscle. So you just have to flex that muscle. And the more that you say it, it'll start to become a belief system that you have. So it all starts in the mind. Imagine what your dream life looks like in five years from now. So you can take a screenshot of this if you want, if that's easier. Um, so what kind of person are you five years from now? How does your energy enter a room? Where are you living? What kind of car do you have? Do you live by the mountains, a lake, a river, a city? What kind of flooring is in your house? What color are the walls? How are you giving back? What favorite meal are you cooking? Something that I like to do is when I'm like, like envisioning five years from now, my favorite thing is like, I'm waking up in my house. I know what the wall color is. I know what the floors look like. I know how my bedding feels and I can smell the coffee brewing. Like, so I have like put in like touch, taste, feel, like I've put in all the senses into my vision where it's so real to me. So, you know, if for you, if it's cooking, like smell the food that you're cooking, what food is that? Like get that clear on your vision so that it feels real. Then you must believe it's possible for you. The faster we can let go of any limiting beliefs we have about ourselves, the better, okay? There was like a picture, I should like put it on the slide for the next time, but there was a picture of a butterfly flying. And this is like always stuck in my head after I saw this, but it's this picture of this butterfly trying to fly and it has these ropes like tied down to a rock. And I just always think of that when I meet people and I can see the battle that they're having within themselves, this worthiness battle, and they wanna fly. And like, all we gotta do is just like, let it go. If you just like could let it go, um, you would just like rise up so fast. So the quicker that you let go of any limiting belief, the faster, the faster you'll rise. So daily affirmations is a great way to flex that mind muscle. And, Again, like it's inevitable. So something that I do in the morning when I brush my teeth is I do my daily affirmations while I'm brushing my teeth. That's called habit stacking. We're gonna get a little more into that as well as we go, but like you brush your teeth every single morning. So what if you just told yourself that you're awesome and that you're worthy every morning as well? What if you just started the day like that? Even just for 30 days, if it sounds woo woo to you, like just try it for 30 days. Um, okay, then you need to strategize. So what steps do I need to do to get there? And how can I be that person that's, that's ready for that? So um, it starts in the mind. You have to believe it's possible. Then we're going to strategize. So action, plan, vision. We're going to like break this down more, okay? But it all goes together. So writing it out. So how do you bring your goals from the mind into the physical? So when you have something in your imagination that is in the spiritual, basically, and we want to bring it into the physical. So let's say that I, there's no cars ever invented. And in my mind, I have a car. I'm like, I want to invent a car. This is what's in my mind. I know it could be a thing. Um, it's never been invented before. The first thing I'm going to do is put it onto paper. That's like the very first thing I'm going to do to bring it from the mind into the physical. So you need to get it down to paper. Um, when you write something down, you are starting that process of bringing it into reality. Remember, do not set your goals based off your current reality. Set them really high so that you have to grow into a new person to achieve them. That's the beauty of this, okay? So don't write your goals based on your current circumstances. I believe this was a Harvard study, but you are 45% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down, 45%. So if I went into the doctor and they said, you have this disease that will most likely kill you, but if you do this one thing every day, you're 45% likely to survive. Like those are odds I would take. I would do, I, those are odds I would go for. So write it all down, okay? So remember it starts in the mind, then you write it out and then we take the action. That is the perfect storm right there, okay? So another thing before you make your vision is core values. So you need to write down five core values 
that you want in your business. Now I just picked five things quickly. I felt like I could have written, wrote down like 12 things, <laughs> but, and don't feel like those need to be the things that are your, like it needs to speak to you. So fun for me, like I said, if I'm not having fun, then why am I doing it? So that is something that I really want to breathe into my team. I want it to be filled with joy and passion's another one. Commitment, commitment is huge for me. Empathy for others is huge for me. Um, community is huge for me. Again, I could have like kept going with this, but I didn't. So just really think about it. And I mean, if you're like, I don't know what my core values are. Like I have never thought of this before, Gloria, this is like too deep for me. Um, you can also go onto Google and you can be like, what are core values? And then they'll give you all the examples and you can go, oh yeah, yeah, that one speaks to me or yeah, yeah, that one. And like play with it, right? Use it, play with it. Good. I see people writing. That makes me happy. So goals, you need them. <laughs> um, so there are four different types of goals when you're setting a vision that you kind of, these are the four that you want to have like on your vision board or when you're putting together like a mind movie. Um, these, like you want to kind of hit all of these. So philanthropic goals are like, I will donate to this charity. So this is the charity of my choice. This is how I want to give back. Um, process goals. So process goals are what are the process you need to take to hit that goal. So I know I need to do personal development daily. I'm going to, this is not actually my goals. I just kind of whip these up quick, but like speak on three calls this month, do three classes a week. So those are the process. That's the process to the goal. Results goals. What is the result I want? I'm going to make $200,000 this year. That's the result I want. So the process is that's the process I'm doing to get there. The result is this is the outcome I want. To be honest, I want to make $200,000 a month. That's what I want. That's how big my vision is. I hope that you have a big vision for your life too. Even writing $200,000 a year, I was like, eh. <laughs> see like how we grow, our dreams grow. When I first started, I was like, if I could get my products paid for, that'd be great. <laughs> so <laughs> wherever you're starting right now, it just needs to feel good to you. Like, don't let my big thing scare you. And you know, just, it needs to feel good to you. So growth goals, what are your growth goals? So to continue growing into the best possible version of me, um, one of my growth goals personally is like, I would love to have a podcast. I would love to have a book. Like I want to reach as many people as I can and inspire as many people as I can. So that is a growth goal for me, but whatever it looks like for you is amazing. Okay, so now to create your vision, you need to look at it every single day. So make sure your vision aligns with your values and that all four of those goals are on there. Um, vision boards are a great way to keep your vision at the forefront. So I love my vision board. I have to actually make a new one, but oh, you know what? I have it, one second. We're gonna pull it off the wall. Dun, dun, dun. So here is one. My kid ripped it. I have a toddler, so she got a hold of it. But like, you can kind of see like family. I talked about that, like 300,000 OGV. We're getting closer, guys. Gratitude every day. So yeah, make it fun. Have a girl's night. Drink wine. Put some, cut some magazines. I think it's like so much fun. Um, mind movie. So download an app and turn your vision into a movie. Bonus points, put music to it so that when you hear that song, your subconscious starts to play your mind movie, okay? Um, so that's huge. I use the app Videorama. I find that that's a super good one. I posted like a quick little video that I whipped together in um, this call, this event today. So that's just kind of an idea that you can do. That's a super easy way. So like in the morning or at night or both, you could just watch that and just keep your vision at the forefront that way. Um, meditate, sit and visualize your dream life every morning. Bonus points for attaching feelings like you're already living in that. Um, when I wake up in the morning and I journal like about my dreams and about my goals and my goals for my team, my goals for my family. And when I start my day like that, I am pumped to take action that day. Like I want to reach out to as many people as I can. I want to like do all the things because I've started my day inspired, right? 
So whatever that looks like for you, just make sure you're really putting yourself in that dream, in that visualization every single day. Um, write your vision out as a story. So I have a few girls that like write it out every morning. That's how they do it. So another thing that we've done is writing a letter um, from yourself for, as an RCD. So like I would write it as, Gloria, you made it. Like you finally did it. We have achieved RCD. This is what your life looks like now that you have done that. And like go into detail and write it out. So that's another way because we all kind of, some of us are visual, some of us are audio, like whatever it is for you that's gonna make it feel real for you is how your vision should be set. Um, and make sure that you're having fun. Again, if you're not, then like, why are we doing it? <laughs> it should be fun, it should be so exciting. Okay, so system setting for success. So a lot of people have goals and dreams, but the only way that you'll achieve these is if you do the things every day. Every single day, every day, <laughs> like John Maxwell, right? Every day, every day, every day. Um, not just when you feel like it. So that's the difference. Like if I wanted to have abs, let's say, I mean, I don't, obviously, if you've met me, you know, that's not true. I love food and wine. So that's not my goal. But if I wanted to have abs, am I going to eat healthy one day a week? Am I going to like, am I going to do that? No, that wouldn't work. You need to consistently consistently eat every single day healthy. You need to consistently exercise. That is how you're going to achieve that. It's like anything that you want to achieve, you have to do it every single day. Like I had company here um, for the last two and a half weeks, almost three weeks, but I still did Zoom calls. I still put this together. I still messaged with people. I still did it. I still managed to fit it in. So you need to do it every day. And it's, you know what, if you do it every day, it makes it a lot less work actually, because then you're not trying to catch up like all on one day, do all the things in your virtual office or all on one day, like reach out to all the people you forgot to follow up with, right? If you just do these little things every day, it's actually a lot easier because just little bite sizes. So um, do you wake up and say, what should I do today? Is like, is that something that you do? Because that's what I used to do. Or do you know exactly what you need to do and why you need to do it? So for me now at night, when I plan my day, it actually makes me feel way less anxious. I'm like, hey, these are the people that I need to reach out to. These are the people I need to follow up with. And I even do this with like, okay, you gotta clean your fridge out. Okay, <laughs> that's like something that you need to do. Like, and I have my list and then I circle the top three most important things. So I know the next day when I wake up, as soon as I get those three things off my list, like it's like a weight is just released off of me, you guys, okay? So it makes life easier. How consistently are you moving the needle on the things that matter, okay? This is something that we need to get really honest with ourselves on. Like, okay, so these are the goals I have. This is the dream that I have for my life. I know what I want. I know it brings me joy. Am I doing what it takes to get there? Am I doing it? And if I'm not, that's, it's okay. If you're, if you're, you're like watching this right now and you're going, oh crap, I'm being honest with myself and I'm not, I'm not showing up every day. I know that I'm not. Okay. Well, guess what? It's a new day. You get to start today. That's the exciting part. We get to make new choices starting today. So that is awesome. Um, so that's something that we need to really think on is consistency. Consistency wins. You guys, consistency is the secret sauce to success. Um, so are you prioritizing your priorities? So, okay, I don't know if anyone can relate, but I work from home, I have three kids and I'm on an acreage. My acreage is a full-time job. My kids are a full-time job, okay? So sometimes when I wake up, if I wake up to like the yards aren't done or my house isn't as clean as I want, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't even focus. Like, I just need to clean my house first or I need to get the yards done. And I know I should be messaging these people, but like, I just have to catch up on all this stuff and then I can sit and I can do the work, right? Has anyone ever done that? Okay, so here, right? And that's stressful. I'm gonna tell you right now, thinking about what you need to do all day is more stressful than actually freaking just doing it. I am not even kidding. Like this has been the biggest lesson for me is it's never going to be perfect. My house, 
my yard. It's never going to be perfect. The time is never going to be perfect. We just have to act. Okay. And it doesn't have to look perfect. So now if I have on my list the night before, you need to message these three people. If I wake up and it's chaos, I'm like, you know what? Okay. Tune it out, message the people, and then I can like start on the chaos. And then it's off of my brain because I've done that consistency that I needed to do. I've done it and I feel better. You'll feel better. Trust me. I promise you will. <laughs> Um, everybody can benefit from having a system, whether you're in Young Living or not in Young Living, like for whatever. It, systems are amazing, you guys. So we call this the Daily Dozen. So 12 things. So this is something that you need to take a picture of because these are the 12 things you're going to do every single day. Um, <laughs> but I can't see. So could you just mute yourself if you're, please? I think, it, okay, good. Oh, no, somebody's not muted. And I can't get out of it. Okay, that's okay. Can you mute yourself, please? Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so 12 things you do every day to be your best self. Well, imagine if you did these things every single day who would you be in five years from now? And if you didn't do any of these things, who would you be in five years from now? One of the images that I hold in my head is like in five years from now, when I meet my future self, when I show up to that place, am I going to be like, thank you. Thank you for doing it. Even when it was hard, thank you for showing up because now look at where we are. Now it's amazing because you did those things consistently. You showed up for yourself like freaking thank you. Or are you going to be let down? So is it worth it? You are worth it. You are worth it. Absolutely 100%. So these are the things you will do to ignite the compound effect. These are like your, I'm doing them every day. Everything else is just like on the whiteboard for like whatever for later. But these are the things I can do. So habit stacking for success. So we kind of touched on this a little bit. But habit stacking is like I was talking about, like if I'm brushing my teeth, that's when I'll do my affirmations. So that's easy. So now I've started doing it. If I open my, when I, when I open my Facebook in the morning, cause let's be real, I'm going to do that. As soon as I do that, I'm going to message two people that are not on my team that are not a part of this business, because that's now my habit is I open my Facebook. That's the first thing I do. So I know that I'm doing that every single day. So another way that you could look at habit stacking is when I curl my hair, I'm a squat. <laughs> so we're going to work the booty while we're curling the hair. So like you have these habits that you do every day already. So let's attach good habits to those old habits that we know we're going to do. And hopefully you're brushing your teeth every day so you can attach some kind of habit to that. I promise you it's going to work. Um, your daily dozen should include um, Somebody's still not muted. I can't see it. Uh, okay, sorry. Sorry, guys, if there's feedback. Um, so, daily dozen should include mastery of something, impact, money, health, and not in that order. And if you have something else you want to add to that for your daily dozen, go ahead. Like I said, this is your dream, this is your vision, like whatever speaks to your heart but you want those things on your daily dozen. So here are just some examples. Again, make it your own, you guys. It needs to speak to you. But for me, every single morning, I'm gonna have my coffee. That is something I do every single day. So when I have my coffee, I'm gonna do my morning prayer. And my morning prayer is like, work through me, tell me like who you need me to talk to today. Like I wanna like bring the good. So tell me where to go, tell me who to talk to, please work through me today because I don't know what's best all the time, but like my higher power does. So I'm like, you know what? That's my morning prayer. Um, meditation. So sitting and just quiet and focusing on um, where I want to go and what I'm grateful that I've achieved so far. So I kind of like do both in that moment. And then I love journaling in the morning. Um, Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's short, but it's something that I have to do every single day. And that's just, what am I grateful for now? So that like, if we're not grateful for what we have, why should we be given more, right? 
if we're not grateful for what we're given right now, why would you be given more? I always say, like with my daughters, if they're not taking care of the clothes I buy them and they're like throwing them on the floor wet and they're not taking care of them, like why am I going to take them out and buy them new clothes when they're just going to trash them, right? So if you're not taking care of the 10 people you have on your team, why would you be given 100? If you're not taking care, you know what I mean? So like you have to have that gratefulness for what you already have so that you can be given more. Um, another thing for me is exercise. So while I'm exercising, I have it stack podcasts onto that. So that can sometimes be 20 minutes a day. Sometimes that can be, sometimes I mean like today I was doing yard work. I listened to probably like 20 podcasts. I don't even know, but I was just like, yeah, I'm feeling this right now. So, but at least 20 minutes a day. Um, drink water, take supplements. That might seem crazy to some people that that has to be on like what I need to do every day. But like, if I don't write down drink water, sometimes the day can pass and I'm like, I've had coffee and wine today. Like my body needs water. So that's on my, um, check my virtual office every single day, open social media, uh, reach out to two new people. Like I said, that's my habit stack, follow up with prospects and new members, like making sure people are taken care of. So those are my examples. Make a post, um, encourage people on my team, get out in nature. I get, another thing, like I'm a different person when I take 20 minutes to just be out in nature. I'm a better leader, a better mother, a better friend, like better everything when I have that time. So there was a lot of times where I would just push it off. Like there's other things I have to do. I don't have time to get out in nature. And it was really affecting me. So that's something I had to put on my list. Um, invite to classes and events. That's something I do every day. Sometimes that's one person that's on my heart. Sometimes that's more than that. Um, nightly gratitude. I also love ending my day in gratitude as well. Again, these are mine, whatever it is for you, like th that's what it should be. It should, it should like, these are the things you have to do every single day. So consistency wins. Greatness is built every day not in a day, right? Rome was not built in a day. Greatness isn't built in a day. So make your list the night before of the things you most need to get done. Like I said, circle the top three and get them done first thing in the morning, even when your house is messy, even if the yards aren't done, even if you don't feel like it, consistency wins. So, it's, and you know what? You're gonna feel like a champion when you knock those things off the list in the morning. You're gonna be like, ah, I'm a rock star and now I have my whole day free because I just did it it's not on my mind anymore um, it's easier to just do it than it is to think about it and when you knock them off the list celebrate celebrate like give yourself a little like whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, when we celebrate the small wins you guys the brain doesn't know the difference between knocking a big goal off the list or knocking a little goal off the list. It just knows that you've crushed a goal. It knows that you crushed the goal. So what happens when you start to celebrate the small wins every single day is your brain starts to go, I like totally crushed the goals that I set for myself and I'm a winner. Like I crushed the goals and it might be something as simple as drinking your water, but you do it and you're proud of yourself for doing it. And so your brain's like, yes, you're a winner, you crush the goals that you set. So I want you all to go out and crush those dreams. And last slide is cast your vision for your future, participate in the process daily, build on your momentum, share your results and encourage others to do the same. With your every success, no matter how small that might be, celebrate and then immediately recommit to your vision. If you followed this right here, this like right here, like you're going to win. You're going to be an RCD, okay? I promise. Like that is a fact. You can do this if you commit. You have that vision that's pulling you. You're showing up every day. You're building on that momentum. Like it's inevitable. So that is the slides. Dun, 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 dun. How is everybody feeling? We're all good. Yay! <laughs> So, so good. Okay. So this is like, I want you to really play with this. I want you to take these, the slides. Like if you took the pictures, that's great. If you need me to like resend you something because you missed it, let me know. I will send it to you. And this isn't something that you're just going to maybe whip out in five minutes and you're going to know what your vision is. Like really sit and think about it. And it's really fun to sit and really go, okay, 
what does my perfect day look like? What does my dream house look like? Like, what is my perfect relationship? What is that without any of the limiting beliefs attached to it? Because I know you can all do it. So write it out, get it onto paper, get it on a vision board, get it on, oh, yes, I can. I'll send you those. <laughs> um, get it on the mind movie. Just get it to where you can look at it every single day. And I promise you, then the action you take every day will feel so much more exciting because you know you're laying the foundation to that goal. So that is the call for you guys tonight. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. We appreciate your time so much. Um, mwah! big kisses. Enjoy the rest of this day. You guys, we have sun today. So that's huge. Huh? Who would have thought summer and we have a sunny day. This is good. Yay. <laughs> Go out and enjoy. Love you all. Make those dreams come true. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I believe in you. Bye. Yay.